What's happening, everybody? We are back. Martial Arts Live Battles. It's great to be back. My name is Master Evan Turner. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is season one of the sword battle. This is the conclusion of our weapons battles. Uh, we started off with the bow. We went to commas. We went to chucks. And now we are here ready to throw down today with the sword. We went out. We got 12 of the best sword practitioners across the divisions, across the circuits, ready to throw it down for the chance of winning the title of the sword battle champ. And a shot, of course, at some prize money. Uh, thank you, of course, to our sponsors, as you see here by DJ, oh, this side, DJ, where's it at? There we go. I, I, I'm not good at this anymore. You know, right there, DJ Katana uh, remixes. Uh, we'll hear more about them in a little bit. But uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I can't wait. These battles are, are going to be crazy hype. Uh, without further ado, though, let's get into our judges. I'm back. Back for the first time. I feel like ludicrous. I'm um, excited to be here with, uh, you know, you, Master Turner, uh, Rory Bradder, and I got my good friend over there, Caitlin Deschel. Excited to see her again. It's going to be entertaining. The entire season is going to be awesome. I'm excited to see a lot of the sword, uh, all the sword tricks, all the sword strikes, and um, any, any, uh, nothing else than that. Let's go, man. I'm ready. Let's go. I like it. And he just said he's all out here. He's on the East Coast this time, but he's typically all in, out in Las Vegas. We got Mr. Rory Bradder. What's going on, everybody? Uh, I've been counting down the days till we got to the sword battles. I'm really excited to see uh, what some of our former competitors are going to do and what some of our new guys are going to do. I'm really happy to be here with both Master Turner and Master Sawazi and, of course, the phenomenal Caitlin Deschel. So without further ado, let's do this. I like it. Then you heard the name already. Unless you're living under the rock in the sport martial arts world, you wouldn't know who she is. She's seen her on every single tournament known to man. She's won everything. She's been in everything. We got Miss Caitlin Deschel. Hi, guys. I'm so excited to be back. I feel like you guys have had so much weapons excitement post-tricking when I was with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see some swords. my favorite. You're going to get to see Kevin versus Derek versus Joseph. So we're going to have them go ahead and call in here. Again, battle number two is going to be Kevin versus Derek versus Joseph. Coming in today at the number one spot is going to be Joseph. Joseph, we're going to send it over to you. What's happening, Joseph? How you doing? Hi, guys. I'm ready to battle today. Uh, I've been doing swords for about three years. Um, I'm first to be black belt in Tungsto, and I'm ready. To nice. We got Derek, everybody. What's up, everybody? My name is Derek Siegel. I'm a third-degree black belt from Peachtree City Karate, Atlanta. I'm 19 years old, and I'm ready to go. We got... Mr. Kevin Walls. Hello, everybody. I'm Kevin Walls. I'm 19 years old. I've been waiting so long for these sword battles, so I'm super excited to see and show the world what I got. Without further ado, judges, give me a thumbs up. We're ready to kick off round or battle number two between Kevin versus Derek and Joseph. Again, you guys. Let's go. Sponsor, DJ Katana Mixes. Make sure you guys find them on Instagram, especially anybody who's looking to get some cool music. And we're going to go to an ad from them here in just a second. We're going to send it over to Joseph. Joseph, you kick off round one. Let's go, Joseph. Ready, my man. Let's throw down. Common choker right there. You saw that? All right, we're going to send it over here. Uh, Caitlin, again, you know, you've been practicing the sword. You've won every single weapons competition known to man or woman for that matter. Uh, what do you see the difference between some of these, these strikes plus mixing the tricking? Yeah, it's definitely interesting because there are um, a bunch of different ways that people are cutting nowadays. 
Um, so it's interesting to see. Obviously, I have the way I know and I practice and you've seen in my um, videos and tournaments over the years. But uh, yeah, I mean, that round was amazing. Uh, Kevin, just because he went the latest, uh, super clean, involving some throws, some tricks. So kind of overall very even, which I love to see, not just throw, 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 or just cuts or whatever. I like the integration. That's super cool to me. Um, Derek with the backflip, taking it out of his case. I don't think people realize like how hard that is because um, you're opening something this way and flipping that way. It's um, a little dysfunctional. Uh, and Joseph, just super clean, just like great energy right out the bat throughout the whole section. So again, three awesome competitors so far. I couldn't agree more. Let's keep rocking. Here we go. This is round number two, a battle number two. Derek, you'll be starting us off. I'm going to go ahead and send the camera to you. Okay. We got a big kick combo coming. All right. I was unexpecting that fool right there. That was an unexpected fool. All right, Kevin, your turn. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, good martial artist. Okay. So oh, somebody been training oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ready, let's go. Let's go, yeah. Yeah. A little lag. Jeez. Oh, he popped that off his shoulder? His shoulder. What? And chopped his whole finger hand off. Oh. Yeah, the he's got some moves, though. He's got, he's got, yeah, he's got lots of tricks. Uh, Roy, yeah. so. I, I think that was an amazing round, too. Um, I really like what Kevin did. I thought overall what he's doing as far as his martial art technique mixed with his tricking um, with the weapon as well as his just natural tricking has been really impressive. The cartwheel where he planted the swords on the ground was sick. I like how he revealed both swords. Really nice round for Kevin. Um, Derek is nice and strong. I mean, I, I feel like he's been consistent with his strength and his intensity. Um, I'd really like to see him change direction a little bit more, as well as kind of up the ante on his tricks. I'm not sure if I have terrible Wi-Fi or if Joseph's that actually that fast. Um, his intensity has been there the entire time, and his tricks with the sword seem to be the most difficult in this class. However, I also feel like he's a little bit too far away from the camera for us to really see them and appreciate them properly. I like it. I like it. Let's keep rocking. Here we go. Final round. We're going to send it over here to Kevin and kick it off. He's coming. Jump. He's ready. He's I love these tricks, but Whoa! you can't grab the sword. I don't you can't know. grab the sword and let, it, and let it roll around your neck and stuff. I mean. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. We're supposed to be at Swazi, my bad. I went the wrong person. Swazi, your thoughts. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to start from the top, I guess. Um, we'll start with Joseph. My man, you just need stronger Wi-Fi. Um, because I can't really appreciate everything. If you ever watch the judges, they get really excited when they can really see what's going on. And then, like he said, a little distance-wise. Um, also, stances. Um, the, the changing from stance, his elbows are in tight. I couldn't quite see if he was actually striking out in front of you. Like that's person. That's the reason why you have a weapon for distance to actually hit somebody and do a little more damage. I would like to see that. But like uh, Mr. Bradder said, his tricks and difficulty seemed like they were up and far beyond. He was doing some really high um, uh, difficulty with his sword. My man Derek was at the beginning. Lots of energy, fight scenes. It looked like he was trying to do. I would have liked to see, like Mr. Bradder said as well, change in direction, trying to hit maybe the corners that are behind you. Um, his tricking was a little iffy. I'm not sure if he even knew he was going to do that car full. Um, and then Kevin probably was the smoothest. I would have liked to see some more power out of him, but he was very seamless between tricks and kicks. And then his swords. And then he was also, and this is the second time we've seen this today, somebody go from doing one sword to go into the double sword. And he didn't seem like he had that much trouble with it as well. So that's kind of my quick feedback. And then just overall, I'm not a big fan of like grabbing the blade. At all. Okay. None of us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to hear what I have to say. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a suicide. I'm not gonna lie to you. Suicide mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, without further ado, judges, we're looking for two of these competitors to move on. One quick recap: we had Joseph in the number one spot, Derek is the number two spot, and Kevin was the number three spot. Judges, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready for this. Judges are ready. All right, here we go. Judges on the count of three: one, two, three. We got two, three. Two, three, Rory, waiting for you. Two, three. All right, two threes have it. Congratulations to Derek and Kevin for advancing to the next round. Joseph, hey, you're definitely still in this. You and Christian will have a chance to be voted back in. Make sure you guys want to see either Joseph or Christian when we put up our YouTube poll. Vote them back in for the chance to get back into a week two, which is our challenge week. Let's go ahead and give a hand to all three of our competitors. Way to rock, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is the Martial Arts Live Battles. I'm Master Evan Turner. Uh, for Mr. Rory Bradder, Caitlin Deschel, and Sales Sawazi, thank you, and we out of here. <laughs>